Hey gang, today we're going to explore two versions of the song, It's So Easy. The first one in 1958 by Buddy Holly, the original writer, which didn't chart. And the second one was a huge hit in 1977 by Linda Ronstadt. The guitarist on that was Waddy Wachtel. So in some ways, it's a tale between the 50s and the 70s, the late 50s and the 70s. In other ways, it kind of exhibits the difference between a Strat and a Les Paul. Buddy Holly favored the Strat, that's what he played, and Wani Wachtel favored a Les Paul. But it also kind of tells a story of how music changed between those two times. So let's take a look at that. I think it'll be kind of fun taking a look at the main riffs. This video is brought to you by Songstitute. They're an online platform that brings music students and teachers together all across the globe. As a student, you can look around for the teacher of your choice, book a Skype lesson, simple as that. They handle all the billing, everything else. I currently teach on Songstitute as well, and I'd love to see you there. So why don't you check them out? I look forward to our lesson. All right, let's start out with the original version, 1958. The beginning starts something like this. This is the Buddy Holly version. <laughs> so that's pretty close. And what do you notice about that? Well, there's a couple of things that are happening. Number one, it's a very typical Strat sound. Now, this was a new instrument, or a fairly new instrument, in 1958. So there's a lot of, and there's a lot of muting that's going on on that one, right? Stuff like that. And obviously, it's using 4-4 four, four times, straight 4. So it's already moved sort of from blues into rock and roll, or it's, but it's still very skiffily, if you will, with a lot of staccato lines and things like that. So lines like this, that would later become a staple throughout the ages. So that kind of thing is very, is very common and remains very common to this day, but it doesn't usually sound so stiff, right? So. The other thing, at the end, it sounds kind of, again, very stiff, uh, but it's neat, right? There's still, it still sounds kind of neat. You can see how this influenced bands like the Beach Boys and play like that. It's very similar, there's some similarities there. Or early Beatles, a lot of play like that that's in the early Beatles. So very influential, this sort of play, as well as the sound, right? Because using a strat. Remember also the crickets were a small group. They weren't highly orchestrated. So something like this fills up a lot more space than just a single chord, right? So there wasn't a lot of that going on. Amplification, distortion, and all the sort of things that help the guitar sustain weren't really available. So riffs like that were there. One last thing I want to point out, and that is the strings. The strings didn't have, they had that wound G string, so they were a little bit thicker in those days and people didn't bend as much. So all of those things kind of combined, I think, to make that a, an influential song, but stuck in its time in some ways. You can definitely still hear how that's, that's a 50s song when you hear things like that kind of thing. It's either 50s or early 60s. All right, now let's check out the Linda Ronstadt version. Okay, now we're going to do the 1977 version by Linda Ronstadt with Waddy Wachtel on guitar. We've got to keep in mind, almost 20 years have passed since 1958 when Buddy Holly did it. The Beatles have been here and gone. The Stones came. Jimi Hendrix came. Clapton. Mick Ronston with his signature sound and Ziggy Stardust happened. Marshall amplifiers came around with a plexi. Distortions were invented. Anyway, there's a lot more gain and the sound is totally different. So let's check it out. I'm gonna play the uh, opening riff here and let's check it out. <laughs> Oh, 
okay. Definitely much more of a rock and riff, even though it's got a country sort of sound to it because it's played in a major key. But you can see how much more influence has, has gone in from the blues. It's a different bluesy influence. It's no longer anywhere near as stiff, even though it's still 4-4 four, four time, even though it's still straight 4-4, four, four, it's nowhere near as stiff. The guitar sustains a lot more, so you've got notes that kind of... And because of that, you can get away with a lot of, with maybe a lot less playing. Plus, there's other things that are going on. There's a lot more bending in this version, right? And then at the end as well. Definitely a little more raunchy. So it's kind of interesting. I think both the, the sign of the times and the guitars made a difference. In a lot of ways, I think the 50s were about that sort of stiff sound to the 70s when it was much more egalitarian i'd say rock and roll had incorporated it kind of full throttle it took the 80s to kind of bring back a lot of the strat and a lot of that was new wave but that wouldn't come for a couple more years so there you go gang the difference between the 70s it's so easy, and the 50s, it's so easy. Ah, this is not so easy, I don't wanna damage this guitar. Hope you enjoyed this one, and we will see you on down the road.